Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're going to go ahead and go over the general hosted PBX training. So this is going to go over the document that's available on the logics.com website. This is the general hosted PBX training. Uh, in this training, we're going to actually go over the logics.com website, the my phone portal, the admin portal, and the soft client. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off by going to our logics.com website. This is our corporate website. Here in the top right, you'll have a link for customer resources. If you go ahead and click customer resources, this will take you to a list of all of our portals. So the portal we're going to be going over is the Logix hosted PBX portal. Uh, there's also other portals here for our mail, our domain, our different recordings. Down here in, underneath those are our hosted PBX guides. So these are some nice guides that you can download. One that I'm going to go over is this quick start guide. So if you go ahead and open up the quick start guide, this guide basically covers one, how to log into the portal. So going to the myphone.mylogics.com portal. Um, it also, after that page, we, it allows you to go over the basic features. So some caller ID, call transfer, voicemail, some different things in the actual portal. And the page after that one goes over the communicator app. So it talks about some of the things it does, video calling, desktop sharing, and how to log into each of the clients. And the last page of this guide goes over the star codes. So turning features on and off using star codes from your phone. And at the very bottom is a telephone instructions on how to set up your voicemail. So how to get into the voicemail system. The default passcode for everyone is 8642. So if you haven't changed your voicemail passcode, that's going to be your default passcode, 8642. So this is a good guide to go ahead and save. It's just a five-page quick guide to kind of get you started. So let's go back. Also, below these guides is where you can download the desktop application for the Logix Communicator. And lastly, at the very bottom is our YouTube channel. So here you can go check out some of our YouTube, some different videos uh, going over the host of PBX stuff, and where you'll also find this video at. So let's go ahead and scroll back up. We're going to go ahead and go to the My Phone portal. So go ahead and click this. Now you can get to this portal by going like we did. Go to Logix.com, Customer Resources, click there. Or you can go to any browser and type in myphone.mylogix.com and get logged in there. So to go ahead and log in, you type in your phone number. We're going to log in as a user to start. So type in your phone number. Then type in your password. If you don't know your password, get with customer care or your install coordinator. Your install coordinator will have the password for you if you just got signed up. So let's go ahead and log into the website. So once you log in as a user, the first thing you're set with is your call logs. So this will be the, your call logs for the last, you can go to the last 90 days or last 1,000 calls. So we're under account and we're under call logs. The next section is going to be messages. If we click on messages, this is where any of your voicemails will live. So you can see your voicemails. You can play them, save them, forward them. The next is going to be profile. So this is where you can actually update your E911 information. So if you're temporarily going to work from the house or work from another location, you can update that. So when you call 911, they'll get the correct address. And down at the bottom here is where you can change your password. So you can put in a new password, put in an email recovery, Password has to be at least six characters long, one number, one lowercase, and one uppercase. So far, we went over account, we went over call logs, messages, and profile. So that covers the account tab. The next tab is going to be settings. So when you open up the settings, this is a section where you can change any settings on your phone. So whether it be anonymous call rejection, call block, call notify, whatever it may be, to open up the different sections, we use the triangles on the right side here. So we go ahead and open it up. This tells us what that feature does. It rejects incoming calls that are anonymous. So we can turn that on. We can turn that off and then click Save. Down here on the bottom right, there's a C Instructions. You can also click this, and it will tell you how to do it from the Internet. So on, off, save, but also tells you the star code, how to do it from your phone. So star 77 turns it on, star 87 turns it off. Okay. We're not going to go over all these settings, but I will show you a guide here in a second that will show you all these settings and describe each of the ones of what it does. So go down in a little bit. We have the voicemail section. This is one I'm going to show you. Go ahead and open that up. 
in here, this allows you to, in this box here, if you put an email address under Unified Messaging, you'll get your voicemails both on your phone and in your email. Versus if you do forward to this email address, you will only get your voicemail in your email, so you won't get it on your phone. Some people like to get it on the phone and email, and some like just to do the email. If you do it in the phone and email, you'll listen to it in the email, and you still have to go clear it out of the phone. Versus if you just do it in email, it only goes to your email. Okay, so that covers the sec settings tab. The next one's going to be support. So let's go ahead and open up support. And this very first guide here, this My Phone Portal User Guide, this is the large guide that goes over this whole website. So it's about 90 pages. So save it. And you see here it goes over how to log in, the account, and it goes over each of the settings under each of the tabs and sections. It also goes over any of the admin stuff, which we'll go over here in a little bit. If you go to the first page, it talks about logging in, going to myphone.mylogics.com. Talks about the navigation and layout of the tabs. Talks about the account tab, call logs, messages, profile, everything that I've went over so far. Takes you into settings. It goes over the anonymous call rejection. So each of the settings is going to go over and tell you what those settings are. So this is a good guide for the portal. Okay. So if you click on this drop down in the top right, you'll see that Jim just has access to Jim, and that is it. So the end user can only see the end user, and that is it. So we're going to go ahead and log off now. So let's click log off. Takes us back to our login screen. We're going to go ahead and log in with our admin. So this is generally an email address. And if you don't know your password, get with customer care or your install coordinator. They can get the password for you. Once you get logged in, you get a slightly different screen this time. This time we actually start on the Manage Locations tab. So if you have multiple locations, you'll see all your different locations here. Once you select your location, you'll then be able to click on the drop down over here and you're able to see all of the different features or seats that you have for this location. So here we see Jim, Jenny, David, all the different people. If we go to the account tab, and let's go to messages. So if I choose Jim, I will see Jim's messages. If I change it to Jenny, I will then see Jenny's messages. So each, depending on who you have selected in the top right, these first two tabs will act like that individual. So you will look at their account settings, you will change their settings, whoever is selected on the right. So now the group tab, this is the new tab for the admin. This is where you administer all the different PBX features. So in this section, we're going to actually start by looking at Manage Lines. If you open up Manage Lines, you will see all the different people in your company. So first name, last name, phone number, their extension, their description. So let's go ahead and choose Jim. You click Edit on the right to open them up. And in here, you're actually able to go ahead and change the first name, the last name, the line description, and you can also choose what number they look like when they call outside the company. So this will be the outbound caller ID. So if you want them to look like their direct dial number, that's what the default is. Or maybe you want everyone to look like the main number, you can go choose your main number and everyone will, and that individual will look like the main number. Okay, underneath that is manage users. This is a section where you actually get to administer all of the profile logins. So these are all the individual user logins plus your admin login. I do recommend you go ahead and go into your admin login and change your password. So change your password there. And if any of the users, you need to go change their passwords, you can open it up. You can change their password. You can add email recovery if you need to. You can also assign admin rights to this user. So maybe you want this user to be just like you and have admin rights. Or what you can do is you can move a couple extensions over and they will manage those extensions just like they were an admin. So if, they, if they're a manager and just need to manage two or three people, you can move those over and those are the only ones that they can manage. Okay, that pretty much about covers the portal. Once again, you do have the support tab where you can actually go and get the support portal and that kind of covers the admin side. So the last thing that we're going to cover is going to actually be the soft client. So the soft client, you can actually go ahead and get that by going to customer resources and going down and download the Logix Communicator desktop app. 
If you open that up, you have an EXE, an MSI, and a MAC DMG file. You can also get the Logix Communicator app on the iPhone store or the Android store. Just search for Logix Communicator, and you'll be able to download it there. Now, once you download and get it installed and open it up, you're going to get a Communicator app that looks like this. This is the app that you're actually going to use. So you'll type your phone number in, just like you do on the portal. You'll type in your password, just like you log into the portal. They all use the same username, password. Once you get logged into your app, it'll go ahead and sign you in. It'll refresh. And when it refreshes, you will come back and you will be on your contact screen. So contacts, here you'll have your contacts. You can see your name at the top, you can see availability, you can set your location, you can put a comment in. So here, this is where you can see and search everybody that is in your contacts. The next tab is gonna be our chat history. So if you have any chats with anyone, this will be where the chats are located after you've saved your chats. Call history, this is the call history. So this is any call histories that you have will be in there. Also your voicemails will be in here, so you can actually download and play your voicemails if you need to. Dial pad, so this is where you can dial numbers. You can dial out, and if you have a desk phone, you can dial from your desk phone, you can dial from the app, or you can make it a video call and do video call between two of the apps. Then we also have directory. Directory is everybody in the company, and so these are all the different people that may be in the company. Uh, you can search for people and add them to your contacts if you need to. So this is just a basic communicator, kind of going over the basic stuff, so we're not going to go into too in-depth. Um, there definitely is a options down here, and you can look at all the different options and change any options in here from the different things. That concludes our training for the hosted PBX. This is just a generic overview to kind of show you the portal, the user portal, the admin portal, and the soft client. Thank you.